This is Wayne. If you've popped by my channel a few times, you've seen my videos, so you know a little bit about myself. However, I wanted to take a moment to give an update. It's been probably a couple years since I've traveled. The last trip I went on was back in 2019, where I went to the Philippines, and from the Philippines, did a trip over to Hong Kong, and added also another trip to Singapore. While I was in uh, Hong Kong, I did pick up the Nikon Z6, which has become my favorite camera. I haven't used it a whole lot since I've been working a lot more these days. Ever since COVID hit, travel got put on hold. So I haven't been anywhere really. I did take a trip out of San Diego back in July. However, that was more like a stress reliever. So there wasn't really much time to do videos or take photos. I mean, I did snap a bunch of photos while I was out there, but it was just more to try to get back in touch with the gear. As a photographer over the years, I've had a number of cameras that have served me well in the past, which I am now contemplating selling to pick up another video camera as that's the direction I want to go and focus on these days. Here is my D200. This one has been around for quite some time and it has done an excellent job of taking photos on some trips. I can say this one has been to Peru. Where else have I taken it? I'm not quite sure because in the early days I wasn't doing a lot of uh, traveling. However, this one became my studio camera. I like how the images came out, they were pretty clean all the connections that were on there that you can utilize for your flash and of course everybody got to start someplace at just remote connection and flash so for me starting off with the d200 in a student environment helped me to develop some skills and working with lighting equipment working with uh, strobes and uh, triggers to get some pretty good photos now the sad thing about all that is I did lose a lot of my pictures because my hard drive failed. Back in the old days, everyone talked about backing up your drive. I tried to go ahead and cheap out on the backup drive. And I came home one evening, something was burning in the house. Only to realize that my drive somehow fried and the photographs that I put up there back up, well actually, they pretty much all went there gone lost just about everything so i had to start fresh and start developing new things some of them on my website as you'll see wayne maddox photography uh it's on zenfolio i'll put a link in the um, description below to my actual site nowadays i've actually utilized it to put a lot of my travel photography up there i do still have some of the old stuff that i took up there and i'll keep that going i didn't uh, kill the site because I figure at some point I'll probably want to go back in and start making some more photos and doing it as a side gig slash probably a main gig at some point. So the site is still live, been painting for years. Now I'm going to be working on getting some more photos up there. Let's talk about my D300. This camera has been just about everywhere. This has been the workhorse camera for me for the last several years. It's been to China, Mongolia, uh, Hong Kong, Philippines. Actually, no, this one did not go to the Philippines. But pretty much uh, wherever I've traveled in the last few years, this camera has gone with me. And it's taken a lot of great photographs. Of course, I kind of separated from the um, battery kit. I'm always known to have my grip because when I start shooting, I don't want to have to change out batteries or uh, stop for anything if I don't need to. So I did invest in an extra battery that gave me a long life. So now she's going to go up on a chopping block as well because I don't use her as much 
as I do with the Z6. And I'm contemplating picking up the actual Z6 II, which is now out. The next camera I have is the D500, which is not uh, in this room at the moment. So I'll talk about that at some other point. I contemplated selling it as well to assist me with offsetting the cost of getting the new Z6 II. But for the moment, I'm still gonna be utilizing it. I plan to use it as a backup camera as I do videos. So that way I can still have something in the meantime as I can pick up the other one. The one thing about the D500, while it does take excellent photos, my challenge has been in video. When you use it with the, um, the standard lens that it has for them, it's a lot of hunting when it's doing all the focus. And of course, depending on where your microphone is placed, you might pick up some noise from it. But I'm learning to get around that. If I do like a static video like this, then I can set up the camera, have it focus at the distance that I want, record, and she should be straight. So that's a quick catch up of my gear, my plans, and what I'm going to do over the next few months as I venture on my new chapter in retirement to figure out how I'm gonna do with my photography and this YouTube channel. So thanks for stopping by. Hopefully you will subscribe and stay tuned for the new videos coming forward for me. Take care.